guillotines to the garage door. Appreciate you guys taking the time out to talk to us tonight. Right on, man. Thank you guys for having us and checking us out in Vegas and, and giving us a, a little nod. Hell yeah. That, you hell guys yeah. put on a hell of a show there at Evil Pie. <laughs> that was fun, man. Tight quarters. Oh, it was. It was cool, though. <laughs> yeah, Craig said I went there, but Craig said it's just a small little place, isn't it? I mean, it's not very big, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, that's the best rock and roll right there. Oh, yeah. That's great. You know, I was that's telling awesome. Craig, the days are gone where I really want to go to the big mega concerts. I would much rather see you guys in a, you know, like headliners. Uh, I don't know if you know where that's in Louisville. It's a small place or a smaller, you know, venue, you know, to me. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I don't know. But you guys got a tour getting ready to start, right, in, in April? Right on. Yes. Yes. Go ahead, Lisa. Tell him about it. He wants me to tell I'm you. Trying to open it. my beer. He wants me to tell you. Quietly. <laughs> you guys, man. Craig, I, I have to work tomorrow. Craig's. I got my so, day gig. I already <laughs> finished mine. So. <laughs> yeah, our mid Midwest tour is coming up in April, and it is. I uh, starting on April 24th uh, through May 4th, and we will be because you guys are in Indiana, right? Yeah. Yes. You're, I saw. I looked on the map, and you're you're in Seymour. Our shows in Lafayette, Indiana, and yeah. the North End Pub. So, but yeah, yeah I hope to hit, hope to hit the Lafayette show, and I, I live close to Louisville. Little Kentucky. I live closer. You guys are playing back. down in Lexington too. Yeah, right? we we got we ended up in Lexington and yeah. Green Lantern. Yeah, cool. Yeah, that whole run's gonna be fun. That's a great part of the country for us. Yeah, yeah. Him and I are both yeah, from okay. that area. So. Oh, okay. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I live. I, I'm from Chicago. He's from Cleveland. So yeah. All right. <laughs> it's gonna be pretty wild. <laughs> L.A. In Chicago. L.A. L.A. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, hey, dad, my dad my dad lived in Chicago, Forest Park area, Glen Ellen, all in yeah, there. Yeah. So it's been yeah, a lot no. of time there. It's, it's, right it's a great area, just not in the winter. You know, I had to go oh, away oh, from man. the snow. Oh, hell yeah. yeah, we're all we're all here about no winter. No winter, no <laughs> snow. Are you guys all down in Texas now? Is that where you all Houston. live? Or? Yeah. Oh, that's much yeah, yeah, nicer Houston. weather. Oh, yeah. You get the golf, <laughs> the golf breeze, man. Yeah, it usually right. is, but it usually is, but it did actually snow, man, last year. Uh, I, you know, I, don't, I can't go further south. I don't know. <laughs> know where else to go. I just, you know, fuck. <laughs> go to Belize or something. I don't know. Hey, right. I'm sure <laughs> I do, yeah. Yeah, man, those guys were cool, man. I, I really dig those guys. Oh, they're, they're yeah, fun they're to really hang cool. out with. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll Tight, man. I love that. Too. I love that. You know, kind of soul, uh, garage soul, that rockabilly stuff. That's great too. Well, guys, tell us tell how the guillotines came together. If you can give us a brief history. Oh uh, <laughs> man, we had um, a band down here that I started called Chelsea Hotel, and Andy was playing with me, and uh, we just decided it needed a change, a uh, little, little more late 70s kind of punk rock like we grew up you know playing and yeah and, uh, just go back to the roots and uh thought guillotines was a cool name and uh it's had a lot of changes but this lineup of lisa andy and i this three piece is huge man it's uh well jail it's, right it really it's the right people yeah yeah you know, and that doesn't happen a lot man i've been you know you go through so many bands and they just fall apart but We'd love to get in a van together and just rack up miles and play gigs and be stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Absolutely. Well, that's being free, though, man. That's being yeah. free. That's why. And to me, the guillotine's music is about being free, expressing yourself, letting your freak flag fly, you know? Yeah, man. <laughs> There's no formula. It's just if it feels good, do it, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> now, the, la the is the last album, Parch, am I saying that correctly? Was that the last album? The vinyl? The 12 yes. inch that yeah. was the only one we did and and that's uh the old lineup one of the okay. older lineups okay 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 but uh the new stuff coming out that's where we gotta go all right all new right. stuff coming out with this lineup that's that's off the hook man it's it's, it's, it's still record it? i mean i already read it recorded yeah it's in going to mastering any day awesome awesome and uh well obviously with the trouble we're gonna have to do a cd first vinyl to follow Right, yeah. Stuff on the table for the tour, but sure. Yeah, it, we'll get it to you guys. You're gonna dig it. 
Oh hell yeah! Oh yeah, and we will we will help move it because we we're big fans of the, of, of you guys. We really yeah. are of the DT. Right we on. are. And we were where did we record it? Come on, Lisa, plug in. <laughs> oh yeah, we recorded it in Atlanta at Joe Queer's studio. It's called Scabby Road. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I love it. So he's, yeah, a, love he's it. our engineer, and uh, Don Solerso uh, is uh, producing and mixing it. And he calls his Lookout House Studios. Okay. Yeah, Joe does some good work. We're actually yeah, in the Lookout awesome. House Studios right now. Right, this is where we are. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> We're in the uh, place where it's safer to spill beers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who's spilling beers? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry about the audio. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Hey, it's part of the DIY. That's the way we do it. It's the way we roll, man. Yeah. We're in the garage, you know. Right on. Uh, hang out. So how so long you guys have you guys been doing this? Oh, uh, the interview I'm part interview. of a couple years. We've been doing it for a little oh. over two years, the interviews. Very cool. We've been Being on, on the air, gosh. On the air, while, so yeah, I've been uh, doing radio off and on since <clears throat> the late seventies. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm there with you. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah that's, you got the radio voice. No, oh, I, got, I got got a face for radio. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, the Fifty-eight model over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Fifty-eight yeah. vintage. Yeah, <laughs> I have speakers. I don't know if you mind if I try to plug them in because we we'll probably hear you a little better. Would that be yeah, okay? Go ahead. Sure. Whatever you Hang on. Yeah. Sorry about that. No problem. I had to press the green button that said "Join Audio." <laughs> can, you, can you still hear us? Yeah, yeah we can. Yes, yes, yes. Can you hear yeah. us? This better? might be better for can the deaf doing? people. Yeah. Can you? Yeah, better. What? Yeah. Better. Oh, right. talk? No, hold on a minute. Oh, oh he's back. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> Is that better, you guys? Yeah, that should be better right, now. Right, awesome. Because well, you got okay, great for, deaf people. For, for, people who, <laughs> for people who don't know, please introduce yourselves and say what instruments you play. And let's just real start real real fast there, if that's okay. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Um, they call me Lisa Fur on stage, and I play bass and sing vocals, mostly backing vocals, but I can do lead with them when they need me to. And uh, you are? I'm Bill Robert Kahn, guitar, vocals, uh, part writer in a lot of this, because all of us are taking the writing. That's Andy crazy. Chaos, drums extraordinaire. I do not sing, though. Do not put a <laughs> microphone in front of me. Absolutely No not. vocals. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Andy, but, Andy, but, yeah. 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 And that's cool for guillotines, but the history is awesome, man. I'm playing – I get to play with these awesome people, man. Andy yes. was out – he's been out with Richie Ramone and, and, and oh, down wow. in South America and stuff. And, uh, wow. Doomstress. Yeah, yeah. The, and – Doomstress, oh, the heavy stoner stuff out of Houston. And <laughs> Lisa Fur from LA, who's been in like anything cool in LA, Lisa was in it. You know, <laughs> Snap, Snapper, 45 sure. Grave, DI, everything. Nina Hagen. Snapper? Nina Hagen. Oh, wow. So, you were yeah, in Snapper, we, Lisa? I didn't realize that. That's awesome. I was in yeah, Snapper. Yeah. Um, I'm the one with the orange hair on the cover of Flipside. Oh, really? Uh -huh. <laughs> I played. Awesome. I didn't realize that. That's too the cool. first full length. Uh huh. And uh, awesome. I don't really do girl bands anymore, but I did a bunch of music with the drummer Susie for a while. And uh, but uh, it's man, that's a while ago. But uh, yeah, Snapper. <laughs> I always tell them remember to say Snapper because Snapper had her thing, you know. And uh, no, but I've been. Uh, I don't know. I play with a lot. My list grade. is really long. And, uh, yeah, it's a pedigree. I do my own. Band, man. I love it. Lucifer and Speech of Death. I played drums in a band for 14 years called the oh, Fat Guys. Wow. <laughs> I, I, I haven't heard them. Band whore. <laughs> yeah, hey. no, that's what I, yeah. I grew up. I grew up in Cleveland playing in the Pagans and uh, the Plague, okay. Death Nix, uh, AK-47. Man, it was just... What a great place that was to grow up and cut your punk rock teeth. Oh, and there was great bands coming. You know, I want to oh, see. Yeah. I'm I'm hoping that it blows back up. You know, after the pandemic, people want to go get out, and I hope the smaller clubs start again because that's the backbone of rock and roll, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. You know, I hope they get yeah. back. And this tour we're going out with the Strains out of Detroit. They're going to be doing most of the run with us, and that's um Paul Smith from Dumbbell, and he played in um. Uh, 
Knitting Wits over in Europe with Tony Slug. Okay. From, and yeah, yeah. Real but guys from MC5 and, and Dark Carnival in the band, too. Oh, wow. Yeah, Ron Ashton's old band. Yeah, it's going to be a real cool run. A lot of good, I guess, good people. Well, I mean, how did the guillotines meet up the, just from touring through the years and seeing, I mean, you know, being in a different band? Like I said, Andy was playing with me through this Chelsea Hotel project. Yeah, and it disappeared yeah. for a little bit, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I, yeah, I've been playing with him and writing music with him for twelve years or more, and then I took four years off to go find myself, and I couldn't, so I came back. You know, <laughs> and, uh, you know. <laughs> you find yourself is the question. <laughs> no, yeah, I don't know. You know, I, I couldn't wait. He didn't change anything. No, I didn't. Yeah, no, I just I couldn't find shit. You know. So, 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 but, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, with so, you, Andy. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm still trying to find myself. Man. I will say you guys are like an all-star band then. You no, really are. Man. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Lisa, Lisa was here in Houston, and she had a project called Screech of Death, and uh, her guitar player had quit on her, and uh, I said, man, I'll play. And uh, so we hung out doing Screech of Death while Andy and I were doing guillotines with my wife, Jules. Yeah. And... Yeah. Uh, Jules passed away in 2019, oh, man. and uh, we sat around for about eight weeks and realized the only thing we could do was Lisa had to come into guillotines. And Keep going up. Was, uh, Keep going. It was almost like she was picked. I mean, Jules said she could do it, and I was like, ah, no, we're not even thinking about that yet. <laughs> and, uh, right. But uh, it God bless it all, man. It worked out great, yeah. dude. Really? And then Screech of Death's drummer, who was my man, passed right. away in June of uh, 2020. Like oh, six no. months later, so that went away, <laughs> and now we're, we're the guillotines with, like, we got blood between us, man. This yeah, is absolutely. a blood. This yeah. is a family, man. Why are we a three-piece now? Well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, 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 we're a three-piece. Easier. Yeah. Three Way piece. easier. That's it. This is, like, it's easier. And that's not to say someone can't guest in or something here and there or whatever on a guitar, right. but right. we don't want two guitar players. We're like, no, nah, we worked it all out as a three-piece, which is a art in itself. So um, we I will say you guys get a hell of a sound out of three-piece. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I said we're like the who of punk rock. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, who, I consider who a three-piece, but. Yeah, one of the nice yeah, things yeah, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. One of the yeah. nice things too about all three of us is between all of us, we have enough songs, and we've done this before. We've been the only band. We've had bands cancel, so we've done two and three sets in a night. Oh wow! You know? and, and, not, and, not, <laughs> oh, yeah. and not played a, a single song twice. You know, I mean, it's it's great. You know, yeah, that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, we do anything. Well, man. we just want to. You know, that's the Beatles in Hamburg. That's what the Beatles had to do in Hamburg. You know, just right, right. play, 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 play. You know, yeah, makes you better. Yep, we go. Oh, the uh, no, I canceled. Fine, you know, we'll just uh, play a double set with a little intermission, and then they end up, you know, taking care of our bar tab. And they're yeah. like, "Thank you so much." Yeah, we're like, "Oh man, happens. we have yeah. songs for days." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. And we, we have to go through and figure out what set list, and we get we get like three or four different set lists, <laughs> and then we just put them all out there, and then, then we just kind of randomly pick songs at any get, given show. Yeah. You know, but every oh, show man. is different. Every show is totally the set different. list good for about twenty <laughs> minutes. Then it just goes <laughs> off. Oh, no. What do you want to do next? Yeah, you know, what? call them out. It's funny when you guys played Evil Pie. I actually ended up with your set list. Really? And I got drunk, and somebody took it out of my pocket. So uh, <laughs> Greg was pissed. He was pissed. Pickpocketed the set list, man. man. I know. That's just, that's just evil, man. <laughs> Yeah, because he, he, he was really mad because he had called me. I was back here, and he had called me and said, man, you won't believe what happened. I was just walking by. Somebody <laughs> snagged it. <laughs> oh, oh, that was a cool set, though, out there. That was a blast. And then yeah. Joe Queer showed up. Yeah. That was yeah. just a party, man. Yeah, Joe, yeah. yeah. So in Houston, is, is how's the is it opening up in Houston? Are you guys able to go out and play the local bars? Right, I mean you know, pra, you know. Oh, practice. we've always been able to around Houston, pretty much. Yeah, we we okay. don't play home a lot. Yeah. We try to be out. Yeah, we, you know, a couple three home shows a year. But Houston is open. Yeah, um, we just played with the queers at White Oak. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. And we just did a Coffin Cats show. Yep, and, yeah, yeah. and the yeah. Coffin Cats, and then yeah, sometime in. Early last year, um, the Reverend Horton Heat came through. Yeah. So we're all like, we'll play. Yes. Cool. Yeah. Oh, Some yeah. people got frowny about it, but we're like, we're in Texas, though. It's like, um, 
It, Texas, some places didn't even close down. I don't know. Yeah. Right. <laughs> they were like, fuck you. We didn't miss a beat. Can I cut? Yeah. I don't know. No, Sorry. No, 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 no. You can say whatever you want. <laughs> Maybe not so much Texas as much as guillotines, man. We just, one day we got a call. We could go to Oklahoma and do a gig. We drove 400 miles to play one what? set. Wow. <laughs> and drove home. And just to get in the van and go free and play, man. You was, like driving, apparently. <laughs> we, 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 yeah, you we gotta, you it. gotta make it fun. It's rock and roll, man. Yeah, <laughs> right. We don't mind. That... We're like, we just, we, you know, check out the scenery. If there's places and we have a minute to stop, we're like, look at it's Nuke Beach. We're going. You know, <laughs> <laughs> places that we pass right. by like giant ten statues times. in Gainesville, Texas. Yeah. Yeah. Look, the big ball of yawn. <laughs> Let's stop there. Check Let's go. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I look for uh, roadside attractions. But no, man, it's it's a blessing to be at this age and laugh and be as knucklehead about rock and roll as oh, we yeah. were 40 years ago, you know? it's You know, that's what it's all about. You're doing what you love, and it comes through in the music. It's authentic, and that's what we cool, try. Man. That's what the garage we appreciate is all about. Yeah. You know, it's authentic. Definitely. Come from your soul. Pardon me, but screw the corporate stuff. I mean, I hate oh. to say that, and I that's dismissive and shallow-minded, but Screw that. I don't need that. I don't want that. That's right. Not real. Still, yeah. yeah. Let's pay $150 for a ticket, but bitch uh, about a $5 cover charge. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Yes. Fucking yes. logic kills me. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Now, do you know where you're playing uh, uh, in Lexington? The name of the venue? Lexington? Oh, look. Green Lantern. He knows. Oh, okay. Okay. That's a good spot. That, that's yeah, a good yeah. club. We're going to try to get over there for that. Right on. Yeah. I think my buddy Brad Sims is coming by too from uh, the uh, what was Doug's band? Uh, da, da, da. Doug? Yeah, digits? Out of digits. 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 Yeah, yeah the old okay. digits dude. Yeah, Good yeah, cool. he's he's around Kentucky now. I'm gonna come uh, out. It's gonna be a fun night. Yeah. Oh, now, cool. are you guys going all the way down to Nashville? Too? Are you doing Nashville too? We're gonna start in Nashville. Oh, starting in Nashville. Okay, and then head over to Memphis, then over to uh, Lafayette. Chicago, Detroit, Cleveland, Lexington. A lot of driving. Uh, hopefully St. Yeah. Louis, then Kansas City, Oklahoma City. Uh -huh. Head back home. Oh, yeah. yeah you know, a there's, cool a, loop. <laughs> there's a club. I don't know who's doing your booking, but there's a club in Indy uh, called the Melody Inn. That's a great Oh, we've done club. that before. Okay. I played there okay. before. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes things matter. Yeah. Sometimes things matter because yeah. <laughs> things are just opening up now. So we yeah. go where we know, but right now, um, our booking engine we can't be bought. Robert, right. Robert. <laughs> yeah, we do all our own everything, dude. Yeah. Booking everything. That's awesome. That's, awesome. That's great. We have no agent. We we always keep trying to get an agent. People with agents go, why do you want to get an agent? Man? Right. <laughs> you know, it looks like you're on the right track. Yeah, yeah. You're just going to give them money. And it's like, wow. yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, for doing what you're doing already. I'll tell you, you know. for, for the do-it-yourself stuff, I mean, you guys are getting out there and getting tours going and stuff, and that's that's hard to do. So I commend go, you guys for that. Right when on. We go right west, that's awesome. Yeah, when we go west, it's uh, there's that's my zone. So yeah. then boom. And then we have uh, between the three of us collectively, we all have different spots and places all over the country. So, you know, we were supposed to go to Europe. Uh, and then uh, the thing happened that shut everything down. Right. So we just pushed everything forward a year. And, yeah. and uh, hopefully yeah, it's going. We don't know what label's putting it out. We got people that have interest sparked, and everybody will know when we know, you know, because everybody's like, <laughs> right. you guys have a label. Well, yeah, we have, we have uh, distribution. It's not like we have tour support. We are our right. own tour <laughs> support. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Buy yeah. 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 Our merchandise is our tour sure. yeah. Our merch is our tour support for sure. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Johnny to Ramon buy their stuff America. whenever they bring, buy it. Yeah, that's yeah. like our that's like our uh, travel money right there. And yeah. And that's been going good too. That that face sells, man. That that shirt's like cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. awesome. Awesome. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. All now our you guys Oh, so you guys ahead. are on Bandcamp though, too, right? So if yeah, yeah, there's a band camp guillotines page and 
it's the Facebook page, a Reverb Nation page. Yeah, once we get the full CD, we don't um, keep up with all of it because that would be like, <laughs> yeah, well, once we get the full CD mastered and everything all done, you'll be able to get all that stuff on all those pages. So, you know, the, the actual yeah. full CD of just all three of us. Yes. And, and and when you see us, you'll get it on the table too. So, uh, which awesome. is even better. Buy it from us on the table. Hey, it's <laughs> right. right. Goes into our gas yeah. tank. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, the the guillotines dot bandcamp dot com and uh reverb nation if you you'll see it you know if you just type in guillotines we'll put it all up there they'll be able to see it and then yeah. they and yeah. our website's you know it looks like die guillotines it's die de, guillotines. De guillotines because <laughs> guillotines. Of the, yeah. and uh there's a couple other uh bands out there uh in, using the same name um but i do believe bill's first release like predates all of them and i just wish they'd google first but we're not mad at them but they could right, put like right. they could put a little like things uk they could do that they could do <laughs> yeah, yeah, wherever yeah, they're right. at charlotte yeah. uk like yeah yeah <laughs> we're not going to change it there was an old old band a long time ago in the 60s but they're you know they're gone. Right. So but uh yeah that happens people get confused and it's like we are aware you know, and I have big biceps. Well, as far as we're concerned, <laughs> you guys are the guillotines, the one and only. Right on, yes. man. That's it. Yeah, appreciate it. We're, that's us. Because well, everybody's cool. like, I'm confused. It's like, don't get, because if they don't have um, the following, we do hell no. Right. <laughs> right. Can you give us a sneak peek of some of the titles of some of the tunes on the upcoming CD? Titles. Uh, oh, no. hate your hate. Um, what hate what your hate. That's hate great. Your okay. hate is a good one. Um, fuck the media. Fuck the media. <laughs> you know, too much. The business. Oh, no. the business. <laughs> well, well, you know, know I like um, all that. We do. There is one on there. Mainstream called. media, the big main yeah. yeah, I agree. I agree. <laughs> There's one, uh, one called "Breaking Out the Joe Queers Things." That, uh, that's going to be on there. Yeah, we sprung that in the yeah. studio on him. We had to hand in him the lyric sheet for Europe. <laughs> he knocked it really? Did he? Was yeah, it was great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he was definitely. like, fuck it, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we got an okay. award winner. It's uh, called New York, man. And, you know, when people are going to hear that, they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna remember something, you know? Yeah. We don't know what they're going to remember. Down with the dead. Or yeah. Down with the dead, yeah. Oh, I can't wait. I'm getting excited. Yeah, a song about the frolic room on the Hollywood frolic, Boulevard. It's called the frolic room. Yeah. <laughs> so, how did you got? How do you, when you're in the studio? How do you, do you record live, or do you track stuff differently, or how? What's your approach? Or different all all the ways? Oh, we just recorded live. You know, we we got in there. I I played uh, drums and we recorded drums and bass and I just did one takes, bang all the way through, like like rehearsals and stuff, bang. And then we those guys came in later and then you know popped off some things here and there and then we did vocals and we we're done. But for the most part, yeah. we track together. Yeah, track together. And then go, was that yeah. clean? Because, you know. Yeah. I'd rather feel like it's a show, you know, than yeah. rather than yeah. being yeah. in a yeah. studio. Yeah. Oh we're, we are definitely. I hate studio time. We are definitely a live <laughs> show band. We are not a studio band at all. We <laughs> like to be out there in front of people. We're a bunch of narcissists or something. Really. <laughs> we like to be out there and just like, yeah, like I'm feeling the energy, man. Loading giving stuff. The energy. Hell yeah. No, nobody likes to load stuff. With enough. <laughs> <laughs> we, like, we, like, we like our butts numb. Man. <laughs> well, yeah. but, well, Craig uh, and I'll haul your gear for you into one of the shows. If we oh, get it hey, I'm hired. Hey, we'll take hired. You up on that. You're hired. We can't pay you. You know. Yeah, you're no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, you'd be like us. You wouldn't get paid. Nah, yeah, I mean, we don't even get paid. Yeah, no, no, no. That's not what it's about. You know, Andy, we were talking. You're talking. You don't do vocals. Craig and I are both drummers too. And the band I'm in, it's kind of like I don't know if you remember the old Mayberry, Andy Griffith with. Barney was supposed to sing, and they gave him the super quiet microphone. Barney, you know, it was turned <laughs> off. Do you remember that? Because <laughs> I can't do, I can't sing either. I'm Mister No Tone, you know. No, no, no. We, we, the one time that they, they made me uh, when we recorded this new record at the end of one of the songs, they everybody's got to oh, yeah, do this yeah. thing at the end. Right, of, we did that gang. Everybody's right. got to do this gang thing at the end of the song. So, so I did this big guttural like death metal thing at the end because I was like, <laughs> and they all loved it. I'm like, what are you kidding me? <laughs> See, now you're a singer. No, it's, it's, it's gone. It's out of here. I don't. Think, I, don't I think it's gone. I don't think they really kept it. Enough. It was fine, you know? I think it's getting mixed properly. Oh shit! Uh -huh. we, <laughs> we do put occasionally little fun, you know, sound doodly doos, but we try not to too much. But I, none of our songs are the same type of song, so yeah. it's all about how that yeah. goes, and then 
That's one some thing. Some songs none, some yes. It yeah. just depends, but that's not one thing a lot. you'll notice about this record when you guys get it. When you guys get the CD, you'll notice that every song on there is a little different, and 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 some of them are a little really different. And you're like, whoa, wow, these guys are just all over the board, you know. And that's what we try to do, you know. We we you know, hey, we feel this way this time. Let's write this song. Let's put so, on the record. <laughs> yeah, besides our own playing time and and our own artists feel you know then you've got influences like mc5 and lou reed and new york sure, dolls sure. that we're all that we grew up on and we we let everything lose in man yeah yeah, good. Yeah, we yeah, play. yeah yeah don't tell them but i put some grateful dead influence in there too. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. shit they heard me do you always say that? they go like you have that california sound that yeah. i'm like i don't even know what the fuck yeah that and Lisa can, she can like, like shriek out these great la punk vocal and style I, or, man or writing and i don't know what people are freaking talking about us <laughs> from it's all regional and we all have our influences right, right so right. Sure. I, hey lisa uh, mm -hmm. did you ever have a chance to play play with x or open up with x out there back in the day not it not with x i'm a younger generation so no because okay. okay. snapper was out there busting in our spine right. like we do yeah. yeah and uh we got on some some big shows here and there but um we were doing the whole underground and i mean we would play uh you know backyard parties or the clubs but we were i kept trying to think of the biggest bands but it wasn't snapper per se um, she was cool hanging out with rick agnew it was uh, ah. it well he he was my drummer and we recorded a whole album together and my band that's self-named because i'm like share lucifer <laughs> <Cher. laughs> so, with, with snapper there was one it was um it was nina hogan but when we played with her she would step aside and let us do like two or three snapper songs where she sang backing vocals and so you know we went back east with her and um but in la there was one at the palace and um we played with uh it's all it's the usual suspects the, the dickies di that right. uh, ended up joining yeah. di later and um but uh it was things like that but no not x but yes i've seen them i can't count you know <laughs> wow. yeah. awesome now see it's funny out here even where where i live i i knew snapper i mean snapper i mean it was pretty nationally known i don't know if you realize i mean but it was. It was it went, when in Europe, they remembered me when I played there, you know, 15 years later when I went out there with 45 Grave and uh, they remembered me. It was like, yeah, I'm like, yes, I am. This I far. Yeah, I'm like, yes, that's me. <laughs> Hi. But yeah, here and now is yeah. the guillotines, the guillotines, everybody. Man, uh, we want to so, bring y'all yeah. some real punk rock, man. We just love it. Yep. Real, rock and roll. real rock and roll rock and roll is what i call yeah. it yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, it's a fun rock and roll man it's you know, uh you know it never goes out of style you know we're not reinventing the wheel or anything here we're just playing what we love out of our souls out of our souls you know and uh, and that's it you know we're and and we're hoping that people dig it and, and they do you know you know, people look at us, they come out and they say, yeah, man, I did not expect that <laughs> <laughs> exactly yeah, that's yeah. awesome right yeah. On. yeah it's fun it'll be fun getting up to where all the towns we came from but and this um, next run, yeah. Chicago, Cleveland, and, yeah, and Detroit, yeah. man. That Detroit was like a crossroad forever when we were oh, young yeah, playing yeah, punk yeah. rock. We'll be at Smalls in Detroit. That's where I absolutely wanted to be. That's cool. going to be cool. Smalls, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, guys, thank you for hanging out. Uh, yeah. Believe it or not, I'm old. I got to get ready for work tomorrow. I retired as hey, a man. teacher, but uh, <laughs> I, I took a job with the university, so I got to get, get going on that, but. So you guys are awesome. We love your uh, music, and we can't wait for you guys to come through here so we yes. come see you. All right, man. We'll see you in Lexington. Absolutely. All right. It's right been on. an honor Thanks. having you on the show. Thank you. Thank you, right. Craig and Troy at the garage right. door. Yeah. Thank you so much. Guillotines right. out. <laughs> Later. <laughs>